Hi, my name is David Jones, and I just turned 42. Each man kills a thing he loves. Each man kills a thing he loves. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I think marriage is Each a completely outmoded institution. Each man kills a thing he loves. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I just feel like it's a weird institution that has a whole lot of baggage. And um, even though I feel like, you know, maybe gay people can do something to diversify that institution and maybe change it up a little, and maybe that will influence, you know, more traditional marriages. Each man kills a thing he loves. Each man kills a thing he loves. That a Bottom line is I feel like, you know, there's civil rights and minority rights and gender rights have swung so far in a certain direction that you can't hold back one group. So things have to go forward. And everything else has gone forward for minority rights. The fact that this is not going forward and it's, it keeps getting stopped in its tracks is, is a real problem. Some with the hands of gold the kindest use a knife because the dead so soon grow cold. Each man kills the thing he loves. Common law marriage versus a regular marriage, you just don't have the same rights. And as you know, as you get older, you start thinking about buying property or doing things together that normal couples do not having the same amount of rights or tax breaks or all those things that can, you know, make your life a little easier. Um, yeah, make a big difference. And others buy, some do the deed with many tears, and some without a sigh. For each man kills a thing he loves, yet each man does not die. My feelings on Proposition 8 vary all the time. <laughs> They swing between being really passionate for the fight that you know gay people are making to um, have marriage equality, to being like, quite honestly, um, there's a side of me that's sort of like, you know, I've I've heard kind of the younger generation, not not the generation below me, but the next generation, the like, you know, the men in their early 20s who are like, basically their attitude is like, fuck you, bougie gays, and your gay marriage. It's a weird, you know, there's a fine line that you're sort of treading when you're talking about it because philosophically I think I'm against it, but when you're in love with someone, you're in love with someone, so. I can't imagine, if I had met someone when I was 20 years old and I was now at 42 years old, still with that person, and I would have to give up all of the experiences that I've had in that time that have made me the person that I am. I guess the idea of waiting for someone when you're done <laughs> is a good idea. <laughs> I'll wait till I'm done, <laughs> because I'm not done.